Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Camtasia Studio so that you can get the highest possible HD recording and this is not going to be a super quick tutorial unlike other people that have done their quick tutorials um, on YouTube and they've kind of skipped how to really get at least halfway decent uh, HD through a Mac with Camtasia Studio 2. So I'm using ScreenFlow to do this one so uh, the quality on screen flow is not all that great and I apologize it's still better than what it used to be but it's not where I like it um, I like Camtasia it puts out the highest quality um, I guess screen capture that I've come across so far so the first thing you want to do is you want to go on and open it up I've already got it in my dock down here so I'm just gonna go on and open it up I've got the trial version um, I'm probably gonna end up buying it because I just have been really happy with it of late um, so once it's opened up, the first thing um, you can do, there are a couple different things you could do. One, let's figure out what size screen you have. So everyone's going to be a little bit different on their screen size. Um, so this is something you're just going to have to follow this step right here. And I'm going to downsize this at the moment. And I'm going to click custom region. And then what I'm going to do, well, let's hit record. Figure out what my custom region is and it will pop up here in a second and let me know so I'm about a 12 well 1280 by 800 okay is is what I and just hit escape and you get out I'm about 1280 by 800 is what my screen size is that's what I want to for it to record um, when I'm doing my screen captures at 1280 by 800 but I want it to be a little bit bigger than that so I think I've got it set up on my export settings and my record settings at 1280 um, or 1285 by 805 or something like that and what that will do is and we'll open up this file that I did earlier um, I like VLC better um, and if you notice there's a really thin black line around it so you can see the whole entire video but there isn't that much extra video added on um, if I had made it bigger let's say like a 1280 by or 1920 by 1280 or 1080, 1920 by 1080p, which would be 1080p, um, then it would give me a huge black box around it because that's not the size of my screen. So everyone's going to be a little bit different. Everybody's screen is going to be a little bit different on their Macs. Um, if, you, if you've got the 13-inch MacBook Pro, and that's what I'm on right now, um, I would do, uh, again, you know, just hit this, pick your custom region, and I would do probably 1285 by um, 810, 805, something like that. Okay, so once you know what to pick, now you need to go set that setting up. So we're going to open up the uh, Camtasia, if it will open back up, and we want to go into our preferences. And if you notice, this is, this is what I've got it set to, um, to record at. So uh, this is a preset, pretty much in a manner of speaking, and these are the regions I want. So I've got those regions set in right here. specific. To a scale to specific size, scale to specific size. I have both of these now picked. Now, if you have a different, you have like a 15 inch book Mac, you're going to have a different diameter that you're going to have to put in there, the width and height. And that's where you're going to put that in. Then you're going to exit back out, um, and then we can go back to recording. And we're going to record a little bit here. And we're not going to pick custom region. I've already got the region that I want. You can do this region, um, you could do full LCD, but again, um, this is pretty much the most recent. That we want so we want to be recording that or a tad bit bigger than that because it's the size of my screen hit record it's going to give me my three seconds and it's going to go right into recording so now i am recording and we'll stop and we're going to drag and oh, we'll get rid of this one and we're going to drag and put this one in the timeline that we just took hit share, advanced export, and we want to export to QuickTime Movie. But let's, let's double check our settings here. So uh, we'll keep our current frame rate the same. You can check a different compression type, but this is going to be your best compression type. Um, you definitely want best, and you want the best multi-pass instead of single pass. Um, and then everything else that you see that on my screen, just multiply that. Hit OK, and, uh, and then we want to do size. And so now we want to export in um, a size. So I'm probably going to export, let's say, 1290 by 810. That's going to be my export size. And I want it to fit within that dimension. Again, that's 
pretty much my screen size times a tad bit more. Um, don't worry about sound, it should be preset, good to go. If this is checked, uncheck it. Hit OK. We're going to put it on desktop and we'll call it test run. Hit export. And now it's going to export the video very fast. It's a very small video. If it was a uh, you know five, ten, fifteen minute long video, then it's going to be um, considerably uh, more time to do. So then we'll hit reveal in Finder, and we'll double click on it, and there you go. And that's going to give you a pretty good looking HD video. Not as crisp as you would like it to be, but this is the best way I found. Um, much better than anything else that's been offered, and then you can play it back. And, uh, and you're so able to do your screen recording. So anyways, that's how you guys do that. And uh, hopefully that helps you out. For all you Mac users out there, again, if you notice, I have a tiny black line all the way around the video so that it just shows the parameters that it's actually in. You could do like a 1920 by 1080 p but you're going to get a huge uh, deficit of blackness all around your video. So have a great day, and uh, I'll catch you next time. And also check us out on medianlock.net where we have all kinds of um, exciting and fun information for you guys.